Hey guys, Bill Cimatel with Tim Tuttle, Hell or High Water, BBZ TV. Good morning. We got to make another run out to the islands. Um, a couple days ago we came out with Derek. Tim was uh, not available, so we skipped the boat without him, but the captain's back now. We got to get Tim a sea bass or some big calicos or whatever hits. And we're going to go out there and we're going to still uh, kind of work on the tube and uh, try to perfect the technique. So just follow us out there, guys. We'll go over, we'll look at the graphs, we'll show you what we're seeing, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the tubes and how we're working them and how they work through the water column to catch more fish. So hope you guys enjoy the show. Let's head out to the island. It looks like it's gonna be a great day. And maybe we'll, luck. Yeah, maybe we'll get a big fish. So stay tuned and watch us uh, head across. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a rig and we're gonna show you from start to finish on how we're setting up these uh, Bastrix tubes. First thing is, Tim's got himself a, a Dio Alexa paired up with a 65 pound Maxima braid. And then we have a 30 pound a top shot of a fluorocarbon on that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in the box and the biggest thing is, is Tim's gonna tie on one of the prime snaps. Is This is basically just a, a quick change system. So put one of those on Timmy. So the, the key on this one, Tim, where you tie, right up here where this dog ear is, mm -hmm. You want to tie on the top of part of that because the bait's going to come down and slip in that little nice. section. San Diego jam knot, we're good on something like that. We're, we're going to use three quarter to one ounce. So right here though, that's the snap tied on. Tim's going to come over here. He's going to pick whatever color. Early in the morning guys, if, if I'm not seeing the seagulls picking up on the red crab. Like hitch color or sardine color is just absolutely beautiful. So you want to just slide that in sideways. So when he puts the head in, he wants to go in, put your eye on the fat part of the the leg and then you roll it forward and then you rotate it around and that way you don't rip that cut at all make it sure it's completely centered beautiful pop the eye through so all he's going to do is he's going to get the little ear of that wire in the eye of the bait pull it through and you can almost pull on the line pull on the fishing line and it'll slide right through and it locks in outstanding okay so now that mm -hmm. system's done now we're going to come over here and i'm going to drive around and we do have somewhere in 70 foot of water with the lawrence grass um there is some stuff down here towards the bottom early in the morning i'm going to drive around a little bit i'm going to look for see if there's anything up in the water water column there's a few fish up here but we're going to look for some cormorants um there's some cormorants behind us so i know they're on some bait fish so follow the birds we're going to drive right over here see if we can file, find a little pile of bait and fish and then we'll start uh, showing you guys how to use these tubes and see if we can hook in uh, to Tim's first sea bass so let's let's get some it could be a pile of white fish or bait fish but I want to look for some good size mark. yeah I want to see more marks like that that I think that are going to be maybe the sea bass and yellowtail so we're coming over these cormorants right here in front of us we got some good structure here we got good rock piles here on both sides so it's a good area. Here's a little bit more stuff right here. So there's some stuff up in the upper water column around these cormorants. So let's start ripping the tube and fish it down in that 10 to 20 foot zone. Not super, super tight. There we go. That was on the first drop. Let's see what we got. Good pile of little calicos here. First cast, finding the bait and the cormorants. Nice calico. You can see all the saw the bait fish and the fish right here so we're in the right zone 40 feet down pile of bait and big fish through it tim okay, 40 that. feet down so count it down you got about a foot of drop once you get to 30 you want to put your thumb on the the line and let that so thing what we're slide. doing is we're just we're going to be looking at structure so that's a little high spot that drops down in the dog dog leg right here and then there's a little j hook you got a hump over here that's a little high spot in the flat so anywhere I'm looking on this stuff, see how we're coming up on it right here? Yeah. So when we're coming up here, I just got to figure out which way the current's pulling the boat or the wind's pulling the boat for the drift. We got fish over this, so there could be calicos and white fish, and there could be yellows running through this as well with all that bait. But uh, the biggest thing is, is I'm trying to add this element with this element with the birds, the cormorants right there. So the cormorants are going to be over the top of the bigger pile of stuff that's chewable. So we're going to come up here a little bit over the birds, which is right over the top corner of this little high spot pinnacle right here. So it's loaded. So we should be able to get bit here with calico. See, here's a little bit more bait and stuff. So right here, throw right over those cormorants. Throw the cormorants. 
Oh, right underneath the boat, corn ranch structure. Like I said, I'm using my thumb a little bit to, so I don't want a direct fall. I want it to slide more. And with the boat pulling this way, I'm getting that bait to turn sideways. And with that eye angle, it's going to glide the bait like a planer board through that water column, which makes it look like it's suspended a little bit more. It's like a horizontal approach instead of a vertical. And as it's dropping, I'm popping it to try to get the direction to change. So the planer board goes that way and then pop it a couple times and let it slide, change it, let it go this way. Timmy got a little calico on? Nice little calico, nice little calico. There it go, on the drop, oh, that was on the drop. There it go, there it go. Uh. A little bit better, a little bit better fish. Nice calico, nice calico. That's a little bit better. That's a player. He's about 25 feet down. That's a better, better calico. Throw it out. I'm gonna let it, ooh, there's a lot up in the top of wad column too. There's a lot of shit just everywhere. Pay attention to your graph, boys. Pay attention to your graph. Oh God, got railed on the slide. Oh, what's he bringing up? That cormorant brought up like a, almost look like an opal eye or something. Yeah. That might have a little bit more weight to it right there, my friend. There it goes. There we go. That might be our, that might be one of our fish. Oh, he's pulling me. He's going down. Let me. Oh, he's got weight. Oh, he just. God, he's just. That's the right kind, but he's got so much weight, dude. Come on, get out. Ugh. He's just dead weight on the bottom. Come on, baby. Don't let go, come on. Come on. I don't know what it is of a big black sea bass or what, but it's literally got my shit bowed. <laughs> you so are you still down here at the bottom? Yeah. I'm just seeing if I can get him up a little bit. He just keeps trying to go back down. This has got to be a big, big sea bass or something. I would just love to see it. I'd just love to see it. I, well torqued, I, really? I am buttoned and he's on the bottom and I'm just trying to see if I can get him up a little bit. Every time I bring him up a foot, he goes down five and lays on the bottom. <laughs> I, I can't even get him off the bottom. I don't know if I'll, oh, he's pulling, oh, he's pissed now. Just, I want to get him, try to get straight over him so he doesn't get the rocks. Uh, oh, it'd be nice to see this guy. I can't even get him off the bottom. Uh, kick it to, yeah, kick that, perfect. Thanks, Tim. Uh, oh, broke me. So freaking huge, brother. I can't even move my arms, dude. <laughs> that thing was so big. Oh my God, that is so awesome. That was so big. I don't know, that was so big. It felt like he was in the rocks and I just, I don't know if it's a big sea bass. He broke me. I can't even move my arms, dude. <laughs> okay, try that again, but I'm in pain. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that might have been a big sea bass at first. Then when it went to the bottom like that and sat there, I knew that it was a whole different animal. That one was just friggin' big. We are over, we are over them right now. If you're gonna get one, this is, you're gonna get something, this is where we're gonna get it, right here. There's a hit on the slide. Oh, there, oh another hit on the slide. There's a hit, they're tapping it. There's another hit. Come on, suck it in. Come on, on the slide, mister. Ooh, we got good fish up on top, good, good, uh, 
bait fish pods on top. Oh man, they're there. There's shit right there, Timmy. Oh god. That one hit it. That one got a little bit more weight to it. That might be a sea bass. That's a sea bass right there, Timmy. You got him? No, I'm getting out of your way. That's a sea bass. Uh, going right to the bottom again. What if you have like a 60 or 80 can you, can, can, you, yeah? can you back Same up? Thing. Can you back up and let's get over the top of them? trying to back over the top of these so we can get because they're going right to the bottom to the uh, straight back to me uh, 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 turn it to the left a little bit or, or that the other way there you go yep keep cranking it that way Perfect. Uh, we can net them if you want to let them go. Or you want to keep, keep some. Keep okay. We can still net them. That way we don't bleed up your. I don't know why my arms are numb. Well, probably <laughs> That's a big sea bass right there, buddy. Uh, oh, that's that's a good one right there. Uh, whoo, son! That is a chunk. That is a chunky sea bass. We're gonna pull that up right here on the deck. Hold it right there. Stay right there, Timmy, for a second. Okay. Go ahead and drop the net a little bit. Oh, oh. That. You got 30, 30 plus. Uh, okay, guys. Here's bass tricks right there. Okay, guys. <laughs> that was about a 30 pound sea bass. So, the setup, setup I'm looking at is still, I'm using the Alexa 400 HD. And I went out to Tackle Warehouse. I picked up the new DXSB 801 heavy fast Daiwa rod it's for hundred and nine dollars it's like a hundred bucks it's just an unbelievable setup the key guys is the bass tricks bait and the deal with this is the eye position the eye position is the key so when you throw this bait out if you throw it out and just let it dead fall it'll spiral and it'll just fall fall to the bottom and you can get hit that way the way I keep catching fish is I let it free fall and then I thumb the spool and as I thumb the spool the line tie will go straight towards me and this becomes a planer board so actually this will start sliding sideways in the water it won't fall straight down that glide or that slide the planer board action that's the deal that's what's catching these fish so they pop it you reel set into them smaller hook or a thinner hook so you're gonna get a good hook set. The biggest thing is you just gotta back off the drag, get get the boat right over the top of the fish, play them, and get them in the boat. So that's the deal. Um, I'll try to find the color of this bait, but this is one of my favorite baits compared to the uh, the red crab. So let's get back out there and let's see if we get to it. There you go. Get a go. Ooh, good calico, dude. Good calico. Nice fatty. Nice fatty calico. Let me drop, drop the thing down there. Drop the frozen squid. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, Timmy got a sheep head. Look at that. Look at goofy back ass for teeth. <laughs> Just, oh. Timmy's on a fresh dead squid again. Got another fish. Ooh. He's got a, you got a, here, look at that. 
Oh, and he just shit all over his <laughs> tip. <laughs> that, that fish poo pooed oh. on you, dude. <laughs> That's what you get for letting them go. <laughs> oh man, just got whacked right there on the surface. Just got whacked. What is that? Ooh, barracuda. Barracuda on the tube. Oh yeah. Right on the surface. The tide just turned. 11:30 was low tide, and it's 12 something, and we got some current movement. And got bait fish right there on the screen. Okay, Tim, come and take it off for me. <laughs> I got it. There you go. That worked. That's a nice little barracuda on the tube. Cuda. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh. oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. We got to back up on him, Timmy. Oh, I'm getting this. See if we get right over the top of him. I don't know what he is, but he's. Oh. He broke me off. That was a big fish. <laughs> okay guys, Tim and I kicked butt up here this this morning and it was right before the tide shift. The We're just coming on a, a high tide to a low tide shift so it's turning from high tide down. We finally got a little wind. We got a finally got a little current. Oop, there's a hit. There. And uh, man, it's unbelievable. Once you get some current moving, how quick, uh, ooh, ooh, I don't know if this, that might be a bigger fish. I thought it was a calico, but let's see what it is. But these fish, once that current goes, and this might be a sea bass, dude. No shit. Yeah. But man, I was just telling you, yeah, this is a bigger fish. Yeah, this is a bigger fish, Tim. This is another sea bass. Um, go ahead and start, keep, you fished him because they're, uh, so what we got is once that current starts moving, start getting your bait out there and get the right wind drift. If this isn't a sea bass, this is a decent calico. So I don't know what we got going, but, oh, let's see what we got. Uh, sea bass, smaller sea bass. Yep, let's just get the net. We could uh, let this one go real nice and quick. Do a little catch and release with the sea bass. Nice, right here. Tim's gonna hold them for a second. I'm gonna release my spool. We're gonna grab this. Tim's gonna pull it up. There we go. Push the bait through. Good job, Bill. Nice little keeper sea bass right there. And look at this, guys. Catch and release, we wait till he gets to 40, 50 pounds. And uh, then we're gonna cave him, right? <laughs> okay, let's go do that slide again. I'll put a new bait on and the network's really bitching, guys, so you don't have to gaff everything. Keep them in the net till you need them. Bait's here. Go sideways first. Up. Rotate in position. Make sure the Bait is center with the cut. Pop the eye through. Grab the Pro Prime Stat. Slide through the eye. Grab the line and snap it through. There you go. There we go. On the drop. That might be it. That might be one. On the drop. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Got to lighten up the drags a little bit, guys, and a little bit lighter hook, but this guy's. Oh, look at him go, look at him go, look at him go. He, he just, just figured out he got hooked. Oh, look at him go, look at him go, look at him go. Okay, we need to, we, oh shit. We need to back up on this one, Timmy. We, he just took me way out. Go ahead and reverse it. He just took a quarter of a spool. So Tim's backing up on the fish. We're gonna try to get as much line in as possible and get the fish over, over me. He just, he's heading to the bottom. He's just going, going and going. Look at that spool. Just try not to overdo it. Keep going reverse. And head this way. There you go, perfect. Keep going that way. 
keep just keep backing up take your time back off your drag if you're in open water guys and he's not on the bottom in those rocks don't put extra pressure on these fish take your time with them tell you what my biceps are killing me there's some color down there yellowtail nice nice yellowtail come on bill just crank him in <laughs> <laughs> got the leader got seven foot nice okay so let's uh you don't want the yellowtail no, we're, we're gonna do a catch and release guys real quick boom we're gonna get our little thing Bogadoga. tim's gonna bring this up got that drop that boom there we go guys mid uh, top top 20 like i said on the drop doing the slide and and then uh it just like a friggin bass hit you want to let it slowly go down count to 20 on the slide just let it kind of slow even slower if you can go a little bit slower you want to let it fall about 20 seconds because you're dragging it and the bait's turning sideways and it's just kind of drifting and every once in a while pop give it a nice little pop while, it, while it's not yep. engaged right? not engaged you just got your thumb on the reel and you're gonna you're gonna let it go down for about a 20 count after the 20 count i click it over and i pop it and i'm kind of i'm just letting it slide i'm popping it on a tight line and i'm letting it drift i'm going to count to about five to ten and i'll pop every once in a while through there but i'm not doing a consistent pop 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 then i'm going to reel a little bit pop and then i'm going to disengage and i'm going to count it down another 15 10 15 20. so all i'm doing is i'm testing the 20 foot water column and i'm sliding it and i'm trying to pop it to see if i can get it to turn directions and slide it this way and on the fall and as it's fallen either the line just kind of goes it starts moving a little bit quicker because something's picked it up and moved forward if that happens you just see me do this and reel into it or it thumps it and you just reel into it or, or it takes off one of the two but i'm not doing just i'm not popping it and reeling i'm not popping and reeling i'm not popping and reeling i'm popping and i'm kind of disengaging it and i'm holding it there for a second and then i'm just letting it just slide time or... yeah i'm letting it slide through that thing i'm almost trying to get it to suspend in one area and i pop it and i try to see if i can get it to turn around and suspend and and the further away from the boat it is when you do that the better the angle is for the slide the, so it's almost going horizontally through the water column instead of just straight up and down vertically and and i'm doing that and then there's times where i'll just keep doing it i'll let it go down five seconds i'll pop it i'll reel it i'll disengage i let it go down 20 seconds i hold it i just drag it for 20 seconds or 10 and i pop it and i reel it and I pop it and then I let it go down maybe 30 seconds and then if I get on the bottom then I bring it off the bottom and I hop 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 and I bring it up like 10 15 feet like something's going off the bottom and I click it and I just kind of like let it just slowly slide back down and sometimes you'll feel like little tick, like pecks on the drop and that goes like oh, okay so I got a player something's going around it and messing with it so at that point are you stroking it or you yeah if, if i feel something hit it i'm like okay and then i and then yep yeah, and then i turn around i kind of let it slide right back down to where i got him to hit it again but i'm not just throwing it out and popping it okay. i'm like breaking down each level of the water column and a lot of the ones the better ones i'm getting are in from like probably 15 to 40 foot zone on the slide through it and then I, I've had a couple that hit on the bottom that were monstrous. I think those are big sea bass, like, or Goliath. And then I had a couple that, like, the, the yellow tail was on the first 20 on the slide going down. But I, I think I'm watching you just, you, you're just popping it. Popping and yeah, you gotta, you gotta really start thinking about, you're breaking down the water column. That's why you keep seeing me look Tim at got the Back off the drag a little bit, bud, and just take it easy. Timmy's on. Let me get the, uh, just take it nice and easy, bud. Just nice and steady. I'm gonna reel you towards him. Nice, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker and let's keep up with him. I'm gonna reel up to you. Take your time, brother. Did he hit it on the drop or? Yeah, yep. Betcha, buddy. Let's just at least get 
least to see him. Take your time. Let me get the net here just in case. They're pissed off for sure. Just gonna turn the boat a little bit, get them directly underneath. There you go, you got a gear. Now let's be a sea bass, not no yellowtail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see something down there. Do you see color? I see color. I jinxed you. I jinxed you, I jinxed you. <laughs> yes it is. Okay. Right, Let me get your little handier, handy handy over here. See if we can do a catch and release on this. Okay. Let's, let's turn the belly towards me just here. There you go. Nice. Okay, there you go. Nice. Swim away. Look at him swim. Radio. You got one, fucker. Jesus, Murphy. Damn. Long ass. Hey guys, this is Bill and Tim. We hope you guys had a fun day out here on the water. Um, we had some great fish. We had some sheephead. We had some nice calicos. We had two yellowtails. We had two sea bass. So we had a, a great day. Couple Timmy broke us off. Big fish broke us off. Tim, Tim had a big one on that uh, could have been a big sea bass, but you know, hopefully you guys learned something on this. And uh, fishing isn't easy sometimes. You got to really put some time into it, and work on it. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Really check out these baits. Kind of figure out how we're using them. Go out there fishing yourself, and wait for the next time we're going to get out here. We're getting Timmy a 30-pound white sea bass or better. So that's the goal. We got to head in, head in and clean up the boat, but hope you guys enjoy this and we'll catch you next time out on the water. Peace out.